Hello and welcome to this tutorial. So, I'm going to be showing you how to run mods for Command and Conquer 3 and Kane's Wrath. Well, not really Kane's Wrath, but the Ultimate Edition. If I look on YouTube, I couldn't really find any videos showing you how to do this, so it's going to be a quick tutorial on how to. Don't say my control batteries are dying, that's fun. Um, so, what you need to do is first oh, oh, go to this website here. I'll post a link in the description so you can get here easily. This fixes the launchers and that and allows command line to parameters to pass through. If, I'm pretty sure this is essential, so go download that. Once that's downloaded, open it up. It will be this here. You're gonna read me. And watch it not open. Okay. Um. Then you go into the launcher. Well, after you've extracted it. So what you do is, you would extract it to your desktop. Here it is for me right here. Click on it. Click next. Click next to what? Now what you do here is you select which games you want a thingy. Which games you want the launcher for. If you just want Tiberium Wars, just click on that and uncheck all these. And then you just go on next, next, next. All the way through there. Then once that's done, go to download the mod you want. For example, I wanted this. Download it. Blah blah blah, it's all downloaded. Once you've downloaded that, go get it. Find it in here. And then what you need to do is, you need to create a folder. Hang on. Let me go through my. This is how you find your command of congrats. Just click on your documents. Go to Tiberium Wars 3. Well, oh, I'm gonna go right through. Now, what you want to do here is, is create a mod fo mods folder. Once you've done that, place the mod you want inside here. Once you've done that, go over to your drive where you store the game. For example, it's my Windows OS C drive. Go into Program Files 86. Go down, find Origin Games, Terror Room Wars 3 and Kane's Wrath, Terror Room Wars 3, that, that is if you want it. Now, what you want to do is, you see this little CNC 3 here? You right click on it after you've selected it. No, don't launch. Right click on it and create shortcut. Now, what this does, it creates a shortcut here. What you want to do is right click on that. Properties. Alright. So this is the part where you can probably not see. But what you want to do is, after the speech marks at the end, you want to go space, minus, UI, space, CNC3. Now that activates the launcher thingy that we downloaded before. That will bypass the thingy that... <laughs> I know I'm saying thingy a lot, but in it. That, that bypasses the thing stopping it working. Click a, you might want to copy this as well. We'll save you a lot of typing later. Click, click apply, then OK. Then, what you do is go into Origin. Find the game you want. From me, it's Command & Conquer. Right click, go to Game and uh, Properties. There we go. Now you add that little code on the end. Right here. And click OK. My mouse would work. Now that now that that's done, you can just play it and it should work. But 
I'm just going to quickly show you how I got the CNC3 thing. Go into the mod thingy. Oops, downloads. You might need WinZip, probably. But, oops, one thing. Ah, problems. The code for all of the launchers is in the CNC launcher thingy, in the README. You go down here, now you see this command line parameters thing. The one I selected is the CNC3 here. That's CNC3, Tiberium Wars. Put that on the end after the after the minus UI and click OK. Play. Right. Now you want to click here. As you can see, it's come with this little window. If you can see, probably. You click on the command and come back three if you want it. Then after that, if you've done everything right, this little window will pop up. Now that that's popped up, go into game browser, click on mods, select Tiberium Essence, left click, then launch game. Then that should work, hopefully. I'm not gonna actually click launch game because it takes forever to load for me because I'm recording and you know if you have liked this tutorial and you found it helpful please give it a like also if you have any questions let me know as well I'll try to answer them the best I can and goodbye for now